Alright people, welcome back. More card reviews. So today we're looking at Destiny Hero. Yay. So, Konami, you have been giving Destiny Heroes the deck for years now. Well, going on in a decade now. Uh, Destiny Heroes have been nothing compared to Elemental Heroes. And, you know, while Elemental Hero players are like, hey, free my nigga Stratus. Disney Heroes are like, hey, we could kind of use him too, you know. And it's nice that you got, like, Shadow Mist a little slower than Stratus, but that's great. But all oh, the Destiny Heroes were just, like, like... I want to say 80% of them are shit. Like, 80 fucking percent of them are trash. And the new is no exception. Like, you, you can literally name, like, the good Destiny heroes on, like, one hand. Like, Malicious, of course. Sure. This commander, he's banned. But, yeah, if he wasn't banned, holy shit. Three Call of the Haunted and three Oasis. Like, oh, no. Oh, no. What? A fucking Call of the Haunted? <laughs> fucking uh, Call of Haunted Pot of Greed? What? You give Destiny heroes a Pot of Greed? Mm, mm. We're going to be talking about that. <laughs> Uh, Plasma, and Dragoon, does he even count? Like, does he, like, does he really even count? Disc, I mean, not Disc Command, I already said Disc Command, Diamond Dude. Like, they're, they're, you know, the rest of them are just kind of trash, just garbage. And you thought they would be giving them some great shit when they brought uh, Phoenix back into the anime, and no, his shit is still kind of shit. Um... So we've slowly been getting shit monster, shit monster, shit monster. At least we're getting new cards. Like at least we're getting new support. But I mean, it doesn't matter if you're getting new support if your support is shit. <laughs> Black wings. But uh, anyway, today we are looking at a new Destiny hero, and apparently I've heard through the grapevine. I don't even know where the hell I got that from. That this Destiny hero is not shit. What? Like Konami, you actually know how to make a Destiny hero that's not shit? I I'm surprised. I'm surprised. So this is Destiny hero Celestial. Is a dark? That's good. Warrior. Mm-hmm. No, well, we only got one Rota, but that's fine. Uh, level 4. Yeah. 1600 attack, 1400 defense. Uh, I believe 1600 is the highest attack that level 4 Destiny Heroes get. So, you know, it's no beater, but 1600 is nothing to scoff at. So that's okay. Uh, effect reads. First effect. When this card declares an attack, so it's an attack period, whether it be a direct on a monster, if it declares an attack, you can target one face-up spell card your opponent control, destroy it, and if you do, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. It's not terrible. It's really not. Uh, especially since the whole pendulum mechanic and their pendulum skill. You just go ahead and summon this guy, a tie, uh, pop the one of their pendulum skills and give him 500 or a field spell or whatever. So that's not terrible, you know? Uh, it'd be nice if it was, uh, you know, just a set spell. I mean, just do it, just a, any spell or trap. But nope, it has to be a face up spell card. So it can't be a face up trap. So even if your opponent has like Vandy's Emptiness, nope, it can't be. Uh, well, unless they have a face up spell that you can pop and then Vandy's will go away. But you can't, you know, pop. A face-up trap. It has to be a face-up spell, not set. It's not terrible. Thank, thank Christ for the pendulum mechanic. If the pendulum mechanic didn't exist, I'd be like, oh, okay, so you get continual spells and field spells. Yeah, you know, but pendulum scales? All right, so that's fine. Second effect. If you have no cards in your hand, except the turn this card is sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card and one Destiny Hero monster from your graveyard. Draw two cards. Interesting. Interesting. No, you can only use the effect of Destiny Hero Celestial once per turn. So, kind of sucks the whole, you can't have cards in your hand, but, I mean, similar to how you set up card in minds, you could probably set this up, you know? Uh, you'd probably be fusing with monsters in your hand, setting spells and traps set like that, you know? You could probably set your entire hand. Then you know, get that entire hand, and uh, when it comes to your next turn, except this turn, it's okay, right? Banish this, banish the Destiny Hero monster, draw two, like... I mean, it's pretty much a pot of greed, except pot of greed, you play one, draw to two, this. Cards in your graveyard aren't resources. They're, they're in the graveyard, they're gone. You banish this, banish like a diamond dude, draw two. Have zero, draw to two. Like, I mean, for goodness sake, freaking card demise. Like, give Destiny Heroes their own card demise. Interesting, interesting. I mean, we've, I mean, I really can't say anything because card demise is still legal and it's, and it's still at three and it's still stupid, but, uh, you know. This card is straight up. You cannot, you know, if you have no cards in your hand. I wonder if that'd be, well, not really. Not really, because with card demise, to get the most optimal, you played it as your last card to draw into the most. I was wondering if they said you can only play card demise if you have no cards in your hand. But, uh, well, I guess it'd be the last card that you play from your hand. But I guess, no, that, that would pretty much be the same exact thing. So, interesting, interesting. Yeah, I can see Destiny Heroes playing this, especially with uh with their Destiny Hero monsters being really generic with their fusions. You could easily just go ahead and you know poly this with another Destiny Hero monster, summon your monster, then during your next turn just play a lot of spells and traps, similar to how you play Card Demise. You know, 
uh, play the revival cards. Maybe not nice throwing some Shadow Mist, going to you know uh, Denklaw, even though that's not your card, and uh, play this card to draw into more cards, get a uh, get a fresh start, similar to Cardamom. So interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, I'd give it, I'd give it a seven. I give it a seven. Yeah, the first effect of pop face up spells that's not bad and uh the whole b banish this and no addressing hero monster draw two i mean you have to have no card but you can you can set that up like if you can set up void ogre you can set this up you know then that's great too so overall overall not bad not bad so hopefully they keep it up to this standard and uh we get something because right now a lot of likes i actually made a bet with rennie rennie's actually a big fan of destiny i made a bet with rennie that they would get a decent destiny they would actually get a good destiny hero uh, but I can't remember if it was 10 or 20 dollars, but we made bad. And uh, with that, uh, I mean, if they keep this up and they keep on making cards to the standard, like, I don't think that this is enough to win the bet, but if they make, like, one more card that's, like, you know, close to the standard, maybe, even, you know, even just a searcher, maybe just, uh, when, you know, when this card is normal summoned, uh, you can search for a Destiny Hero Monster, even that would be nice. You know, Stratus is gone, and I'll, I don't really care whether he gets unbanned or not. I'm just kind of tired of the sick and tired of hearing free my nigga Stratus, free my nigga Stratus every single time running around. I hear it all the time, every ban list. You know, I really don't care whether he gets unbanned or not, but it'd be cool if Destiny Heroes got something. I mean, even if they got like a spell card to search for Destiny Heroes, I mean, for goodness sake, freaking heroes have, you know, a hero list, e-emergency call, and shit like that. Well, Destiny Heroes are like, yeah, well, we have Stratos, who could work for us as well, but he's gone. Do our Destiny Heroes are fine, you know. You know, Destiny Heroes had three Rota, now they only, you know, you know, they're just getting slapped in the face by Konami, they're getting slapped in the face, both the content-wise, you know, and by the ban list, so, you know, next thing you know, <laughs> uh, we're gonna see, like, Mally get hit or something, or, I don't, I don't know, I'm done here. So, tell me what you guys think about Destiny Hero Celestial in the comments section below, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review, I will be back on Wednesday with another card to look at. Alright, people, thanks for watching.